And congrats again to Connor and the family, right? Because you can speak to this as well, that you don't get this far to be drafted into the NHL and to sign an NHL deal without the family and support system behind you. Yes, and I mean... Not a lot of drama behind it. I think everybody knew it was coming. <laughs> Obviously, there was no surprise that Connor Bedard was signing, but pretty cool they could do it on his birthday yeah. and have his family there as well. Um, you know, from the sounds of it, obviously, I don't know them personally, but you read about him and his family and how they are. And for uh, a player that is as hyped as he is and has been for as long as he has been, his family, they seem pretty grounded and, right. and, a, and a good uh, structure around him, which just probably makes him a lot of who he is. But this is an exciting day for him. I certainly didn't have cameras following me around when I signed my right. contract. <laughs> well, he's but had cameras following him around for I know, years now. and to have the have the mentality and, and just the attitude that he has when you hear him speak, yeah. to have that when he's had this type of pub publicity for as long as he has is, is really impressive. And I know everybody's very, very, very excited to see him get on the ice. Absolutely. As you see, led the WHL in goals and points this season, was named CHL Player of the Year, a huge part of that gold medal winning team at the World Juniors for Team Canada. And actually, the first number one overall pick for the Chicago Blackhawks in some guy named Patrick Kane in 2007. Now, this is mind-blowing, but when we were saying happy birthday, yada, yada, um, it was pointed out that he was born, Connor Bedard was born in 2005. So, yes, now that we all feel very old, um, that's crazy. But again, like, it's been almost his full life since Chicago's had a number one overall pick, and it was Patrick Kane. I'd say it turned out pretty well. Yeah, absolutely, and, and some big shoes to fill there. But I, again, I like the way he talks. He's, you know, he's said multiple times. He said, very honored to be mentioned in a sentence with these players. Yeah. But he wants to write his own story. He wants to be Connor Bedard. He don't, doesn't want to be compared to anybody else. And certainly, watching his highlights and and his stats. I mean, his stats from World Juniors are absolutely out of this world, and and in the WHL for that matter as well. Uh, it's pretty cool to hear a kid. That, that talks that way and he's, yeah. he's confident but he's humble at the same time and um, I don't think that, that anyone's going to be disappointed yeah. when they see him get on the ice and then you know his first from development camp everything you hear from development camp from the other players just the way he carries himself um, the zero red flags with this kid I mm -hmm. think it's going to be a lot of fun. So besides being a lot of fun do you think that he single-handedly could turn this Blackhawks franchise around as soon as this season? I mean are we what, what kind of impact do you expect him to have knowing that we're talking about him in the same vein as a, a Connor McDavid type or a Sidney Crosby? I mean yes I think it's going to depend this year I think he's going to have a massive impact this year uh, it's going to depend on how the Blackhawks want to build around him. Mm. Do they want it. Do they, do they want to try to make jumps and make it happen right now, or you know, is it a learning year? They're definitely going to be more competitive than they were last year. He's going to be a huge part of that. I think it's going to be a little bit of a build, but that hit the turbo button yeah. on the rebuild for sure. So I don't think they're going to wait long. I think they're going to be a lot more competitive this year. I think he's going to have a fantastic year but probably looking more towards next year or the year after sure. as far as getting back in that in that really competitive playoff team. Yeah. Um, but the, you know, Blackhawks are they got uh, they're lucky now they can they have that opportunity to sit back and say okay, players are going to want to come play with him. Everybody want, everybody loves playing in Chicago anyway. Right. So it's not like it's a, a place that you have to coax people into coming to. Yeah. Now you got him that's going to bring people and we've seen this. We've seen this with the Austin Matthews and the and the Connor McDavid's how it just kickstarts this rebuild yeah. and all of a sudden they're their top teams in the league. Yeah, well, we can't wait to see what he brings to the ice for the Chicago Blackhawks when the puck drops on the regular season in October.